So the next speaker is Sharon Al Safidi, Safadi from the Faculty of Arts and Science, and she's doing a PhD in biology. The title of the thesis is The Regulation of Stress-Induced Changes in the Expression of the Circadian Clock Protein Period 1 in the Rat, Limbic, Forebrain, and Hypothalamus. And the, the title of the talk for today is Better Sleep Without Counting Sheep, Period 1. Go ahead. Meet George St. Pierre, the world's top-ranked mixed martial artist, and Rob Ford, the infamous mayor, and Jim Carrey, a Hollywood legend that's battling depression. What do these three have in common? Aside from being famous Canadians, they all have problems sleeping because of high levels of stress during their daily lives, whether it's training for a fight, dealing with the public, or battling depression. Disruptions in sleep patterns because of stress are the interactions of two very important biological systems, the circadian system and the stress system. The circadian system is better known as your biological timekeeping system, and it controls the timing of every single function in your body. So this includes when you sleep, when you wake up, when you eat, and so many other functions across a 24-hour period. And your stress system is better known as the fight or flight response, and it allows you to adapt to unpredictable challenges in your surrounding. These two systems communicate frequently with each other. And although we know quite a lot about how the circadian system speaks to the stress system, we know much, much less about the backward communication or the crosstalk. And the focus of my research is exactly on this crosstalk. So to try and better understand it, we expose rats, which are good models of humans, to different types of stress. George St. Pierre experiences a lot of physical stress. Rob Ford, a lot of psychological stress. Jim Carrey, a lot of emotional stress. We were able to replicate these types of stress in rats, and then we studied their circadian systems. And we found that a protein called period one, a key regulator of the circadian system, seems to be affected by stress. But more importantly, it responds differently to the different types of stress. So in short, here's this protein that's acting as a bridge of communication between both systems, and it relays stress information during stressful times back to the circadian system. So how do our findings affect you? By gaining a better understanding of this crosstalk, we hope to develop drugs that will eliminate its negative effects, such as the disruption of sleep because of stress. Now, based on our findings, this is going to be much easier to accomplish in individuals that have psychological and physical stress, but the story becomes much more complex with emotional stress. Nevertheless, these are the findings, and this is what we found. Different stress can turn into different things. Thank you. <laughs> 